Oh, you that's can, real good. You can hear the crunch. You mm. can hear the crunch and the textures. I like the mix of textures together because it creates like, you know. So today we're making a tiramisu. I'm gonna swap the ladyfinger biscuits for sponge, and I'm also gonna put a delicious caramelized sponge chocolate and cocoa topping, and that will complement the tiramisu's creaminess, give a real nice texture and nice finish to the palette. So the first things we've got to do is uh, get some water on with some sugar for our sugar syrup, which is gonna be for soaking the sponges with some coffee. So it's gonna be our coffee syrup. So just um, water, sugar. Uh, recipes will be in the description as always. Um, I'm gonna get that one on to cook. I'm just gonna uh, reduce it down to a thin syrup. It's gonna cook for about three or four minutes. Now to make it caramel, first I'm just gonna flush some water, cold water around the pan. I'm just gonna empty that back into the cup. So that's just cold water. Then I go in there with my water. What that does, it just avoids the sugar crystallizing on the sides of the pan. And then I go in there with my sugar. I'm gonna put this sugar on, first on low heat to melt. Then we're gonna cook it to 120 degrees. Right, so while these sugars are cooking, now we're gonna separate the eggs, so. Low heat at the beginning, the caramel sugar. We're gonna melt the sugar first, and then we're gonna cook it to 120 degrees. So if you, if you didn't have a temperature or a uh, probe thermometer, uh, you could always just use a glass of uh, cold water. And you're looking for a hard crack, so when you put a little piece of the sugar into some cold water, it forms a hard ball. Right, so now you're gonna slowly drizzle in that uh, boiled sugar. Now, if you are gonna use a, because we're gonna whisk this until it's cool, if you are gonna use a machine afterwards, then just make sure when you add this sugar syrup, just go to a hand whisk first, and then go to a machine. You've got less uh, chance in it spraying over the edges if you're whisking the sugar first by hand. All right, all that sugar's added. Now, I'm gonna do a serious workout. I'm gonna whisk it now until it's cool. So we're just gonna put the whisk through the mascarpone to soften it a bit, um, less chance in getting lumps. Now we're gonna go in there with a little bit of uh, vanilla essence, and I'm gonna go in there with a, a pinch of spice. So this is a sweet spice. So we're just gonna beat that through the mascarpone. And now we're gonna beat that softened mascarpone through our cooked egg extra sugar. Right, so we're just now onto our uh, whipped cream. So again, you could use the uh, machine for this, but it's just such a small amount of cream. It won't take me long. Whip, whip, whip. Nice, so just lightly whipped. But for the first half of cream, we will whisk it. We want to make the mixture light to enable us to fold through the light cream. So we'll go in there with the second half of cream. Now when we fold, we're not going to use a spatula, we're going to fold the whisk. So I'm just turning the whisk, turning the bowl, turning the whisk, turning the bowl. This is our cream. Next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to make up our coffee syrup. So I've just got some uh, instant coffee here, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water to that coffee. A little bit of uh, hot water. I'm going to dissolve that coffee. And then I've got my sugar syrup, which we made earlier. So consistency wise, is a very thin syrup. Almost like the consistency of a syrup that you have in uh, tinned fruit, that same uh, consistency. Now you're going to add the coffee to that syrup. Now normally this is when you would add masala or rum or some other alcohol. Um, we're going to keep this one alcohol free. Mm. But we will taste it. Oh, very nice. So that's our syrup. Next we've got our sponge. So I'm using sponge instead of the ladyfinger biscuits. I'm just going to cut that sponge into pieces. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do a big one and a small one. 
big one and a small one. Lovely. So first things first, a bit of cream in the bottom. Little bit of cream in the bottom. We'll do that for this one as well. Little baby. Now, s some people put the sponge biscuits on the bottom first. I'm just gonna bang that flat. Lovely. Now, two ways to do this. You can either submerge your sponge in the coffee syrup and lay them on the mascarpone, or if you don't want too much, you can brush your sponge and lay them on top of your mascarpone. Either way will work. So we're just gonna put the, I actually soak them, sponge into the coffee syrup. And we're gonna lay, lay that nicely on top of our mascarpone. And if you find that your sponge is breaking up in the uh, syrup, then just um, brush them instead. So this is for the smooth end. Now you're ready for another layer of the cream. Oh, now, crunchy element on the top. Let's have a crunchy element through as well. So I've got some white chocolate towards that top layer. Then we're gonna go with another layer of cream. Now on the small one, this will be our last layer of cream. What I do is I'm just gonna bang the cream and leave it naturally like that. I'm not gonna try and smooth it over. I know the sponge is sticking out there and that's why I like it. Brilliant. So that one is now gonna get refrigerated. So last layer of cream, just make sure there's enough. So I'm just gonna spoon it over. And remember, if we've got some of the sponge sticking out, as with the small one as well, don't mind that whatsoever. Really don't mind. Nice. Now I'm just gonna spread that. Over the top. This is why we get the corn so much. Right. Yep. Mmm. What I'm gonna do is just bang, bang that. What we'll do is just, any of the cream will just fall into any of those air pockets. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator to cool down, to chill and to set. So you're just gonna cover that one with a uh, glad wrap and we're gonna stick that in the refrigerator for at least 20 minutes. Okay, so the mascarpone has been chilling for uh, half an hour. We're just gonna make that um, crystallized sponge and chocolate crunch. So, see I've caramelized the sponge, it's crispy. I'm gonna chop it up, not into to small pieces, just smaller pieces. So we're gonna go in there with some dark chocolate. And we're gonna go in there with some white chocolate. So let's pop the crunchy bits on there. That's it, so we're just gonna pop a bit of cocoa over the top. And so this is our crunchy topped tiramisu. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.